Welcome to The Nail Engineer and today we've got the lovely Bess who has been wearing these um, Miss You Builder Gel uh, extensions and they're sculpted pink and whites um, for a couple weeks now and she's ready for her infill. Um, she's a bit of a, a picker picker so she's managed to get these two off and that one snapped up a little bit but I must say all in all we've got a bit of lifting on this one at the side that I've had to remove but all in all as I've kind of ground down with these they're, they're in pretty good nick. In this video I'm just going to be showing you how to sculpt fresh pink and whites and how we deal with the infill. It looks to be on a par with the builder in a bottle um, although the builder in a bottle is way easier to file in my experience um, but in terms of staying power yeah I would say that they're pretty comparable. So I've already used OPI Bond Aid um, on Beth's natural nail um, just to pH balance her and now I'm just going in with some NSI Balance Bond which is actually an acid free primer. I believe Miss you have got um, a base coat but when I was like asking around other nail techs who use the same product um, they were like no I don't use a base coat or oh you can use like any base coat so I thought that I would have a go of these without any base coat just direct onto the nail after primer and um, yeah as you can see they've generally generally been fine so first up I'm going to be going in with the Miss You Clear Gel I'll just show you the kind of consistency I would say it's very very similar in consistency to um, gel bottle ink rubber top coat now obviously you don't want to like smoosh it too much in the pot otherwise you will end up with bubbles um, but yes so our first step for these pink and whites and this is exactly what I did as well for the glitter tips is just to get a little bit probably slightly less than that on the end of the brush actually we'll do this one first and if the camera will focus again and just cover the entire nail and make your ledge and basically all I did with this um, when I did the glitter tips was while it was still wet um, the clear gel I sprinkled my glitter over it and tried to kind of keep it concentrated on the tip area so that obviously the white would cover it so you can see there I'm just creating a ledge with the clear you don't have to be too exact about it though I do find it's quite useful to just butt up a bit of your excess product pretty much the same way that I did with um, Builder in a Bottle um, the only difference is that I'm applying this with a, one of my uh, Taclon uh, brushes which is an artist's brush um, I'll put the full details in the box they're fairly kind of like hard wearing and whatnot so at that stage then I would be curing this um, the cure time on this gel is 60 seconds so that's all cured up now and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put her uh, nail bed on and for this I'm using the um, peach builder I miss you and um, I have to say that um, Miss You were like super helpful when I was buying these. Um, they gave me like a, a discount code and everything. And they did say at the time that um, if I were to make a, a YouTube video for this product, that they might be able to um, fix me up with a YouTube, um, sorry, with a discount code for my YouTube subscribers. So fingers crossed. Um, by the time that this goes out there'll be a nice little discount code there for you in the box below so I'm just pulling off there a little bit of excess as I said it probably was a little bit too much product that I had on there but can you see how it behaves it's just it's quite nice and solid the, um, the builder in the bottle is a lot more kind of like liquid than this um, which is good for kind of like leveling around the cuticle and side walls because you virtually don't have to do any of that work at all um, it just kind of does it for you but by the same vein 
that also means that it kind of like runs down into the side walls whereas with this Miss U I'm not getting any of that issue at all like a nice kind of solid and pretty clean line on the uh, on the nail bed in like one pass so I'm just gonna upside down her just to really really pull that apex up before I, I put her into cure but yeah it's it's really a breeze to form this gel and I'm very impressed so we got most of the best nails done now apart from these two here um, one which I'll show you like the the back filling and the other one which is the sculpt and if you see that it looks like a bit sticky and crap here that's because my phone got possessed and decided to eat the video that I just shot of putting the most perfect white sculpt on the end of there so gutted um, anyway um, you'll notice that these look maybe like a little bit kind of lumpy a little bit messy and stuff but trust me underneath here that white product is butted up very very nicely with the nail bed color so that when I file this away we should get like a nice smooth white line and that's the important thing so first up um, let me do the sculpted one and you're gonna need like a I don't know a petit pois size something like that there or thereabouts um, and all you're gonna do is you're gonna pop that and just keep in the, um, the nail slightly downward pop that in the middle and then I just kind of wiggle side to side just to spread it around and don't worry if you're going over that smile line that will come back when you file and indeed it's useful on your side to go over that smile line and go quite a bit beyond it just to be able to make sure that you get that joint that nice kind of strong joint without actually putting product on the, the skin around the finger so and I'm just doing that the same way on the other side you can turn over and let gravity kind of like help you out a little bit but that's basically all you need to be doing is just kind of working it around making sure that that joint is solid between the white and this is natural white that I'm using and I must say I love it I absolutely love it you can see there that I've managed to kind of like work it around the nail and it looks almost as nice as the one did on the the video that my phone ate boohoo um, but if you do have any little bits that are just like a little bit kind of wiggly and stuff it's the easiest thing in the world at this stage to just take your orange stick and just give a little swipe around so um, Bessel cured up and it has run a little bit but not overly um, and now we're just going to do her other nail so I'm going to take about half of the amount that I just used and I possibly won't even need all of that and it's exactly the same process except obviously I'm not bringing the, um, the white out beyond the edge of the nail and you can see that there's a tiny little nick in there but if I'm good and quick to get this on and get it in the lamp I should be okay um, we also seem to have managed to pick up a, a couple of bits of uh, fluff along the way let's uh, just get rid of these little hitchhikers so again I'm just doing exactly the same thing that I did with the sculpt except I'm not taking the product down off of the nail and I'm just kind of smiling it around on the tip and making sure that I get that little bit there and don't get any on best skin making sure I get that little bit there filled up right before I get it in the lamp okay and then we'll cure that for 60 seconds so um, that's the last of the curing done now on this one here and I'll also just show you um, with the gel bottle ink builder in a bottle it does really grab on quite strong to the forms but I have found with the uh, Miss You Builder Gel that it is a lot easier to get off. So if you saw my other my other video on sculpting with Builder in a Bottle, you'll have seen that I was having to like just gingerly pinch and pull and pinch and pull and like really slowly because it was like really like strong on there. 
um, but actually it comes away really really nicely um, which is good when you're doing sculpts because it always like kind of it might freak you out or freak the client out sometimes how much you have to like pinch and pull um, right at their like nail tip and they're like oh my finger's gonna fall off or you're thinking oh my god I'm gonna rip the finger off and it never happens but you always think it so all I'm doing now is I'm just rubbing off with isopropyl alcohol the tacky layer so that I can just show you how it files just give you like a quick demo I'm not gonna be tedious and do like the whole thing on camera um, but here we are you can see this jagged edge goes quite easy this is a fresh file I have actually used it a little bit on Beth already today um, but only a little bit as I was like kind of grinding back and I just want to show you here the normal procedure as you all know anyone who like does nails already um, and I think a lot of a lot of my subscribers are like kind of avid nail art fans um, not just like newbie beginners um, but yeah you do your edges your side walls your cuticle and then you kind of like up and over to just refine that apex before beveling out your edge and with this one it doesn't look like I have to do too much beveling which is quite good um, but you can see there it's filing actually relatively easy and let's just skip forward a little bit just to show you the reveal on that white line as I was saying before and you can see there it's coming in really quite nice with not too much work I am having to put a little bit of welly into it um, but certainly I, I would say in terms of ease of filing it's probably sat between um, building a bottle which is like super easy to file like I've never known anything that's as easy as that to file and acrylic so it's somewhere in between the two but you can do it by hand obviously if you've got an A file you can like take the donkey work out of it by roughing roughing it out until you get your kind of profile um, but yeah it is possible to do by hand in not too much time so anyway I'm just gonna finish off with all of the filing and get every everything to the same length and then I'll come back and I will show you the finished result and a finished filing all of Beth's nails now and you can see that looking nice and shiny and top coated and all refined down um, and they're not bad considering I've still got a little bit of like visible glitter on some of them um, but actually Beth is going to be having a bath bomb mani over this little lot um, so the finish of them is a little bit less important um, than it would normally be so um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see that bath bomb mani um, I hope you enjoyed this review I certainly do recommend to try out the uh, Miss You Builder gels which are fully soak off as well um, they're not a hard gel um, yeah I really do recommend them um, the heat spike does seem to be a little less violent than the gel bottle and of course they've got a white builder available what I will say is the range of cover pinks is nowhere near um, gel bottles range they've only got like um, I think three different colors they've got this which is the peach 05 they've got like a, um, a natural one I think it's called and that's a bit like a builder in a bottle number 20 and they've got a third one which is pink which is quite bright pink and there's nothing like kind of baby pink and there's nothing kind of like pale kind of peachy toned like um, gel bottle like number 19 um, but they are like a good solid and nice and easy to use uh, product so um, yeah I hope you enjoyed this and found it interesting uh, thank you for watching and I will catch you next time let the dancing begin